Okay, fine, yeah, we're making this video. I asked you guys in the community tab if you wanted to see a UEFA Euro 2024 prediction video from me. And your overwhelming response was yes, so here we are. By the way, who is the 4% that voted for what's a Euro 2024? If you are voting for that, you are definitely subscribed to the wrong channel, my friend. Anyways, the Euros are in June, there are 24 nations participating, and this is gonna be very difficult for me to do because in most of my videos, as you know, we try to stay pretty neutral on the channel. We kind of cheer for everybody, except when it comes to Bournemouth and Arsenal, of course. But other than that, we stay pretty neutral. But today, I actually have to pick group stage winners and an eventual Euro 2024 winner. I got absolutely no idea how this is going to go. After this video, you might love me or you might hate me. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually quite nervous about it. But without further ado, let's go and pick the winners of these groups and then an eventual Euro 2024 winner. Let's go. So we're, of course, gonna start in Group A where the hosts Germany have Scotland, Hungary, and Switzerland in their group. And I think the only sure thing here is Germany winning this group I think Germany will win this group that's probably like a given like they, they can't not win this group as a host and it's a pretty favorable draw I would say for Germany they have a pretty strong team when it comes to second place Scotland Hungary and Switzerland they're all good and they're all in good form Scotland's been fantastic Hungary I really like Hungary they've been fantastic as well and Switzerland Switzerland is one of those nations that you can just never count out everyone always rags on Switzerland oh it's just Switzerland they're beatable but if you look at past their like World Cup performances and their Euro performances, they always make it past the group stage. Like, no matter what group they're in, they could be in the worst group possible and everyone will count out Switzerland and they somehow always progress. They always make it to, like, the, the quarterfinal stages or the round of 16 stages. They always make it out. And with the likes of Remo Freuler and Granit Xhaka, who's been absolutely fantastic at Bayer Leverkusen, and you got the little mini-man Shakiri. he's still performing, still playing well. I think Switzerland comes in second in this group. You can't count out Switzerland. I'm sorry. You just, you just can't. Now, who's gonna come in third place in this group behind Germany and Switzerland. I can't make everyone happy. If I pick Hungary, all the people in Scotland are gonna be upset. If I pick Scotland, all the Hungarians are gonna be upset. If I have to choose one, I think I'm gonna go with a dark horse. I think I'm gonna go for Hungary, guys. I think Hungary finishes third in this group. They might just have the upper hand on Scotland. So my group A is Germany, Switzerland, Hungary, and Scotland. That is how it's gonna be. And I'm not sure if it's gonna be that way, but that's how I think it's gonna be. From group A, we go to group B, and I feel very, very sorry for Albania in this group. They got the worst draw possible. They got Spain, Croatia, Italy, and then the lonely Albania in this group. If they got any other group, I would say they have a chance. But unfortunately, my Albanian friends, I don't think you have a chance in this group. Who is coming first, though? Is it the aging Croatia side with Luka Modric? Or is it Spain? Or maybe is it Italy? I don't think it's gonna be Italy. Italy's definitely lacking, still lacking skill, lacking goal scoring. But maybe Spain is lacking some goal scoring as well. But so is Croatia. But I guess Croatia's got Ante Budimir, who's been very, very good at Osasuna this year. He's just like on pace, keeping pace with Jude Bellingham in uh, La Liga scoring. So I'm going to give it to the experience of Croatia to still top this group. I still think they have it. And then Spain comes in second. Italy lacks a little bit for me, like I said. I think Italy comes in third. And then Albania. Like I said, I'm really, really sorry for you guys, Albanians. I, I feel so bad, but I think you finished bottom in this group and you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna go home. Group C, Slovenia, Denmark. Denmark, Serbia, and England, is it coming home? That is the big question, isn't it? Everyone's saying it's coming home. One of the favorites, obviously, in the competition is England and France. Those are the two favorites to win the to win the Euros this summer. This group, though, like realistically, I would say England probably tops this group. Like you, you'd have to be able to top this group if you have any chance of winning the Euros. It's a favorable group for England. Let's be realistic here. Slovenia and Denmark, I mean, mediocre at best, I would say. Serbia, very, very good on paper. They've always been good on paper, but Serbia actually never does anything in major competitions. They never do anything in the World Cup. They always get knocked out in the group stage matches. And I think if my history is correct, since the year 2000, I think Serbia is only qualified for one Euro. This is their first Euro since what? 2000, I believe. Someone someone correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but... And, and even when they do qualify, they never do well in major competitions. Honestly, if England does not top this group, it would be a major disappointment. So we're going to to put England as that number one team in Group C. And then number two team, we talked about Serbia. I think Serbia will finally make that leap and they will come in second place. Third place between Slovenia and Denmark. <sighs> ah, 
why he gotta do this to me? I, it's gotta be Denmark. It has to be Denmark. I'm sorry for all my Slovenian friends. It has to be Denmark. Group D, Netherlands, Austria, France, and Poland. Poland got in via the playoffs, and besides Robert Lewandowski, Poland does not look good. France, on the other hand, they look absolutely phenomenal. Netherlands also looks great. Austria also looks surprisingly great. So, France, I think, no question, in Group D, France does top the group. Does Poland come in second place in Group D? No, they do not. I definitely don't think they come in second place. It's between Netherlands and Austria, and I am gonna give it to the Netherlands. I think Netherlands do come in second place, and then Poland and Austria. Austria is just better than Poland. Poland's just been struggling. I mean, they've been str they struggled in the qualifiers, and they struggled in the playoffs. This team cannot score goals. They cannot defend well. The only good player that they have, maybe two good players, I would say, is Kivior from Arsenal, and then Lewandowski, obviously. Robert Lewandowski. Other than that, that's about it for Poland. There's, there's, they're just not the Poland that they used to be anymore, and a lot of these European sides, they're not what they used to be anymore. While Austria is on the rise, they're on the come up, they've been exciting to watch, and I think Austria comes in third, and I think Poland goes home. Group E, and this is where it gets very, very exciting, because you got Belgium, who looks like the favorite in this group, and then you have three teams that are, I would say, in the very similar positions. Slovakia, Romania, Ukraine, Belgium 100% tops this group as a favorite going forward with De Bruyne and Lukaku, and then it's between Slovakia, Romania, and Ukraine. And you know what? I'm actually gonna give it to someone out of the ordinary in this one. Ukraine would probably be uh, a more of a favorite between the three, between Slovakia, Romania, and Ukraine. Ukraine probably looks the best on paper, but I'm actually gonna give it to Romania. Romania with Iannis Hadji, they've made some leaps, I would say. They've definitely made some leaps. They have some good youngsters. I think Romania finishes in second, guys. I really do. Slovakia is always tough to play against. They're physical. They're a very physical team, Slovakia. But Ukraine, I think, just has a little bit more quality than Slovakia. I think it'll be close between Slovakia and Ukraine, but I think Ukraine comes in third place and Slovakia goes home. I'm sorry if you don't like it. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how else I'm supposed to pick this. Someone's gotta go home. In Group E, it's gonna be Slovakia for me. And then finally, we come to Group F, and I'm really looking forward to this group, guys. Turkey, Georgia, Portugal, and Czechia. Cristiano Ronaldo at 39 years young. Will he be able to top this group? You would have to think so, right? Like, you'd, you'd have to think that Group F is gonna be owned by Portugal. Like, like Portugal has to be number one here. Like, that's just no question, right? And then Turkey, Georgia, and Czechia. Uh, I'm very excited for Georgia. Extremely excited for Georgia. I'm actually very happy for Georgia. Turkey is one of those teams that could be a dark horse, and I'm pretty sure several people have said that they could be a dark horse in this tournament, but just like uh, Serbia, Turkey never actually performs when it matters. They just never do. I don't know what it is. I have really no idea what it is, why Turkey never performs when it matters. So I am actually gonna go completely off the board in Group F. I think I'm gonna give second place to Czechia with Adam Hlozek, and third place, I think I'm going to give it to Georgia and Kvica Kvaraksheliya. This is my one of those, like, weird groups, you know? Like, everywhere else, you pick a favorite, and then you have that one group where you just think some weird stuff is gonna happen, and I think the weird stuff that's gonna happen in the Euros is gonna be in Group F. There's always something weird that happens, and Group F is that group for me. I'm gonna go Portugal, Czech Republic, Georgia, and Turkey fails. Oh my gosh, here comes the tough part. Put your third place teams in order of best performance, guys. Uh, uh, this is absolute pain, because I have to pick again. I have to pick and, and predict things. I'm not good at predicting stuff. I think we gotta base it on the difficulty of each group and how each third place team will fare in every single group. Only four of those six teams will progress to the round of 16 though. So the, the bottom two will not progress based on their third place ranking. Who will be first? Oh, uh, this is so difficult. This is honestly so difficult. You know what? I'm gonna say first will probably be Ukraine. Ukraine. I think Ukraine because the group of Romania and Slovakia, I think Ukraine will beat Slovakia and maybe get like a draw against Romania or like, I don't know, maybe not lose by a lot to Belgium. Like, does that make sense? I think, I think Ukraine. It has to be Ukraine. Second, probably Italy, I would say. Probably Italy. I'm gonna say Italy. Spain and Croatia, Albania. The, the Italy will beat Albania. Like, they're gonna get three points for sure. For sure, they get three points. We're gonna put some respect on Italy's name. We're gonna go with Italy. Italy in second place. You have to assume that every third place team will beat the fourth place team. That's why they're in third, and the fourth 
place team is in fourth. That's just fair to assume that, right? I'm going to say Hungary. Hungary in a, in a group with Scotland and Switzerland and Germany. I think they can get a result or two. That's why they're finishing third. I'm going to say it's going to be Hungary. I'm sorry if that's not your team. And then in fourth place. Fourth place. The last team to qualify for the round of 16 for the knockouts. Is it Denmark, Austria, or Georgia? <laughs> for me, I think it's probably between Austria and Georgia. I like Kvicha Kvarakshelia guys i think there's gonna be a fairy tale run i think georgia i think it's gonna be georgia it's i clicked on the wrong thing it's gonna be georgia <laughs> and then austria in in fifth and then denmark in sixth ukraine italy hungary and the fairy tale story of georgia will continue some people in the comments are gonna say sorry you have zero ball knowledge and then some people in the comments are gonna say uh your ball knowledge is elite which side of the conversation are you gonna be on so a round of 16 knockout fixtures are set germany versus serbia you gotta go germany here you just have to go Germany versus Serbia. I think Germany will get by Serbia or probably by any team in the round of 16, especially since they're the host. They have a pretty strong, strong squad. I mean, this this team is strong, guys. I think they get by Serbia, Serbia, especially at home. Match 38, Switzerland versus Spain. I hate I hate picking against Switzerland because they always surprise you. Like you can never bet against Switzerland. They're always staying competitive in all their matches. They always pull a rabbit out of their hat. They somehow win, even though people count them out. Oh, Switzerland. Switzerland, Switzerland, and then bam, all of a sudden it's Switzerland that's winning. Can Switzerland beat Spain? Yes. Can Spain beat Switzerland? Yes. Do we go against Switzerland in the round of 16? I think we do. I think we do. I think Spain is going to beat Switzerland. Spain is going to beat Switzerland, guys. Spain is going into the quarterfinals. Match 39, Croatia versus Hungary. I think Hungary is going to be absolutely ecstatic to get to the round of 16, and uh, obviously they got to the round of 16 here with me, <laughs> so, but if they face Croatia, they're going to have a big task on their hands. Let's, let's be realistic. Let's put all the jokes aside here Croatia is Croatia you gotta put respect on Croatia's name in the past decade they've been phenomenal in national competitions in the World Cup in the Euros Croatia beats Hungary Croatia advances England versus Georgia oh boy is there any questions about England beating Georgia if they face Georgia in the round of 16 and you know what unfortunately for England there is always questions <laughs> there is always a question no matter who they play but I think here the answer will be England it was a nice run for Georgia. Nice to see you make it to the round of 16. But this England team, I mean, it's just stacked. England has to progress. Like, if, especially if they're facing Georgia in the round of 16, they have to progress into the quarterfinals. And I think they will. Portugal versus Ukraine, match 41. Again, very nice for Ukraine to get this far. But if you face Portugal and Rafa Liao and Cristiano Ronaldo, I think your luck is coming to an end and your tournament is coming to an end. CR7 round of 16 progression for portugal they are going into the quarterfinals netherlands versus romania in the round of 16 the youngsters of romania nice to see them get to the round of 16 just like ukraine just like hungary just like georgia in my prediction video obviously but i think netherlands advances let's be realistic you know netherlands is netherlands they got the quality they got the experience netherlands going into the quarterfinals romania is going home in the round of 16 and this match is actually quite intriguing belgium versus italy match 43 if this happens, I, I, Belgium is Belgium, but Belgium's always been disappointing. You know, how many times have we seen Belgium on paper and every single pundit out there, Belgium is the favorite to win the World Cup. Belgium is the favorite to win the Euros. Belgium this, Belgium that. Match 43, Italy is going through just because Belgium is Belgium and they never, ever, ever live up to their expectations just like Serbia. And then the final round of 16 matchup, France versus Czech Republic. I, I, Obviously, this is just like, <laughs> this is probably the easiest pick out of all the round of 16 matchups. It has to be France. It is France that moves on. These quarterfinals are crazy. This is ridiculous. Quarterfinals, the last day, Germany versus Croatia, guys. <sighs> Germany at home, the experience of Croatia. Germany's got that home field advantage. And I think this is the end of the road for Croatia. I think the end of the road in the quarterfinals, if they face Germany, I think that's it for Croatia, guys. I think Germany goes through. Portugal versus Netherlands. Can you ever bet against Cristiano Ronaldo? You can never bet against Messi or Ronaldo. Yeah, they could be 75 years old and playing uh, in a wheelchair on the field, and they would still somehow find a way to win for for, for, the, for their national team. It has to be Portugal. It has to be Portugal against Netherlands. It, ha it has to be C. C. It's going to be Portugal. Portugal. Portugal goes through to the semis. Italy versus France. Nice run for Italy in match 47. Can they beat France? The answer is absolutely, positively, 
no. <laughs> France would beat Italy. If this was the match of the quarterfinals, I think France beats Italy. They're just a class above. They're an insane squad. If you look at that starting 11, are they even beatable? Can anyone beat this team? Italy can definitely not beat this team. That is for sure. France moves on. And then match 48, England versus Spain. Again, is it coming home? Oh, so many question marks about England. So many question marks about England. This is probably their best squad that England has had in a very, very long time. And there's so much pressure on this team to finally bring a trophy back to England. But they have to face Spain, in my prediction, in the quarterfinals. Can England beat Spain? Oh, why you gotta do this to me? Yeah, I think England beats Spain. I, th I think you gotta give it to England. You just have to. You have to give it to England. I think England beats Spain and moves into the semifinals, the last four. And then these semifinals, Germany versus Portugal, France versus England, the last four. The home field advantage of Germany versus Cristiano Ronaldo and Portugal. I'm gonna go off the board here. I'm gonna say Portugal. I'm gonna say Ronaldo. I'm gonna say Ronaldo. They beat Germany. I think Ronaldo goes to the final, just like Euro 2016. Is this a bad prediction video with Ronaldo going to the final? It might be. It definitely might be. And then the semifinals of France versus England. Ugh. How can I pick a winner here? I don't think it's coming home. I don't think it's coming home if England face France, guys. I think France wins. I honestly think France takes it down. I think France takes down England in the semifinals. I'm gonna have to go for France. I think England goes home empty-handed in the semifinals if this is the matchup. In match 51, Cristiano Ronaldo, Rafa Liao versus... Versus Mbappe. I don't... I'm, I, I can't pick Ronaldo here. I just... I can't. My heart's telling me Ronaldo, but my logic... And you, you, you know, you gotta go by... by by, you know, kind of make a neutral prediction here. If Portugal faced France, who would be the favorite? The France would be the favorite. France would be the favorite. And I think France wins Euro 2024. I think France wins Euro 2024. Uh, that's my prediction. France over Portugal in the final. Ronaldo goes home empty-handed in the final. And, you know, maybe that's his last curtain call, you know, because maybe maybe that's his last major competition, may major world competition. Or maybe he plays in World Cup 2026. I don't know if he does. He'd be 41 if he plays there does he play there maybe i think france wins this one guys i think france takes it down so there you have it these are my predictions for euro 2024 we'll come back to this video and uh we'll we'll decide if we're a donkey if we were a complete donkey or we were an absolute big brain genius in picking portugal versus france and england going out in the semi-finals and germany also going out at the semi-finals at the hands of cristiano ronaldo and portugal maybe some of you like i said will say sar has zero ball knowledge but maybe some of you will agree and say Tsar is a prediction genius. And if this actually happens in Euro 2024, I mean, I better see some. I'm sorry, Tsar, you are the goat of prediction videos in the comments in June. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching. Let me know your predictions down below. Also, let me know how you rate my predictions down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video on the channel, which probably be tomorrow or the next day. Again, I apologize if my predictions are not favorable to your nation, or maybe they are favorable to your nation. I'm not 100% sure, but if they're not, all I can say is I'm sorry, all right? Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, stay happy, stay healthy, my friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Like I said, peace, 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 peace. France is the Euro 2024 champions, according to me, all right? Peace!